Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. My name's Glenn and this is a little series that I'm doing showing off obviously my completed collections that I've collected along the way. Today we're going to be looking at the 2021 sticker collection uh, which came out which actually came out after the 2021 match attacks which was quite a beast to collect actually um, leading us into the end of 2021 and the start of 2022 now there is supposed to be a new set coming out lights out i don't know if this is going to be a reprint of 2020 images but in a different format like another set to complete or if this is going to be a brand new 2021 set it's a bit confusing because by the time that set comes out i mean as of recording this video it is literally the last day of november so we've only got one month left of this year so if they don't release it in the next one month then it's a 2022 set that's been released but from potentially 2020 images so i don't know how how they're going to do that but we'll, we'll get into that when that comes out we'll have another discussion about that but as of recording this video at the end of november 2021 the very latest product that tops released for f1 is their sticker collection so we're going to get right into that and have a look at it So you may remember this binder, obviously uh, the top half of it or the first half of this binder is all 2020 sticker card collection and today we're going to be looking at 2021. So because the amount of stickers that there are in each set, I was able to fit two years worth of set in one binder rather than just having half binders fall here and there. So this is how the products came. So this is a... Uh, I suppose a display box of uh, F1 stickers. They've gone for this bright pink and purple look, which is pretty cool, I'd say. Uh, better than black and white like they normally go for. Um, and then they also released these tins as well. So you had to get these limited edition stickers. Um, at which, so you had to buy all the different tins and boxes that it came with. So let's get right into the collection itself. It's not a huge collection, so this video shouldn't be too long. Um, and obviously we've already gone through the 2020 collection, but what's different about 2021? Well, straight off the bat, they've gone for the same format with the F1 logo and also F1 2021 official sticker album, which is pretty cool. But this year they've gone for, like they did with Chrome, one for each team badge. And I love the look of these with this Chrome effect uh, with the team badges. So it's one of every, you didn't get that in last year's one, which is a shame. I wish they'd done that in this set, uh, like they have this one. Uh, but things to personally note, new for this year, or for <laughs> in the, the year that this was uh, obviously designed for, Aston Martin's first year that they're in, their name was back in F1. Then you've got Alpine F1, which is Renault's sporting division, and they're trying to rebrand. They used to just be called Renault Sport, but now they're rebranding it to Al Alpine. Um, so they're technically two new teams. Um, you've got, obviously, Haas teams, the only American team on here. McLaren, obviously, they've gone for that orange uh, look, which have held for the last couple of years i actually preferred them when they were silver but i'd love to hear your thoughts comment down below um but yeah that's that's a really good start to the set then we move on to the drivers themselves so uh straight off the bat as it seems always is the case with these uh collections it's lewis hamilton first um we have here obviously a really cool portrait shot of them each driver some of their holographic cards so you've got this one here where it's got like these waves as if they're on the radio like it is on tv um, and then you've got this one here of them and their helmet then they've gone for like a match attacks match attacks do like a puzzle set for each car which is like three across but obviously this one they've gone for two so they've split the car in half there's two stickers to make up the mercedes car then we have a couple of car shots 
Um, then it goes on to Bottas. And again, we've got this portrait shot, a couple of holographics. Um, then the car, again, with their logo. So you've got the Lewis 44, Valtteri uh, 77. And Max Verstappen 33. All these drivers have gone for like the double digit uh, number. Um, a lot of these images actually are like their variation image from Chrome 2020. Uh, we move over to uh, Sergio Perez. Obviously Sergio Perez replaced Alex Albon uh, from last year. He's done okay-ish so far, but he's really good as a number two driver. And I think he knows he's a number two driver and Max knows he's... So because everyone knows... He's just quite good at that role, if you like, because he's doing exactly what he's supposed to. And even here, he's gone for 1-1. One, one. So it seems like a lot of them just go for like a double digit number. <laughs> um, we've got Lando Norris, which has just gone for a single digit number four. I think that's pretty cool. Um, he's a very popular one. Uh, whenever I put any of these stickers on sale on eBay, um, and I've said this in a video before, and I've been proven right time and time again, if I was to put a load of Formula 1 drivers up for sale, stickers, match attacks, chrome, I can guarantee you the ones that will sell first are Lando Norris. That's that's just what I've picked up on in my selling days. Doesn't mean he's the better one. Doesn't mean he's the favourite. It doesn't mean he's the next up and coming thing. I'm just saying, if I list a load of cards or stickers, Lando's the one that sells straight away. We've got Daniel Ricciardo coming in with some uh, holographics. He's got a cheeky uh, smile one. Um, he's sitting on a sofa, I think, in this one. So he looks pretty chilled out in that that image there. We've got some... Uh, this is an awesome sticker. Uh, this is like all the fireworks where the bottom of the car scrapes along the track. I think that's a really cool image, that one. I, I, I'd like to see something like that in one of their chromes or sapphire cards, actually. Um Card number six, uh, 69. So yeah, that's a cool image. Um, obviously, he's got his holographics. He's got the puzzle piece car. Aston Martin obviously came into this year. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Lance Stroll. And his dad obviously owns or is running the racing side of Aston Martin. Um, or partnered with him. So Lance Stroll's kept his job because of that doesn't sit well with me but what does sit well with me is i love the color of the aston martin it's probably my favorite colored car on the grid mercedes is either silver or black uh, but this one they've gone for this really nice racing green um and i actually really like the look of their their gear so their uniform and that uh, and also the car itself i just really like the green that they've gone for I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think is the best looking car on the grid in terms of their livery? Um, I, I, I would have to give it to Aston Martin. We've got Esteban Ocon coming in for um, Alpine and obviously Fernando Alonso, very popular driver, just got on the podium last weekend actually. So that's good news for him. This is a really cool sticker actually of him sort of looking to the side with his helmet on. I think that's a nice sticker there. Sticker 105. We have here, these are pretty cool actually. So in the book, which I'll show you the book in a second. So this is the magazine that it comes with. You get a, pa a couple packs in there and you have the book itself. Obviously it has all the stickers labeled out and what order you should put them in. But more interestingly than that, it actually has a section in it where it's like questions. We actually went through on one of my videos and sort of I showed all the questions and asked and got you guys to ask them um, and then if you want to know the answers you can actually unpack obviously you can just look on google but who would want to do that if you keep unpacking uh, stickers eventually you're going to get the stickers with the answers on them um, which i think is really cool and these cards here you've got max verstappen yuki sonoda fernando alonso you've got a circuit card uh, these are all in correspondence to the questions that are asked on that page so i think that's really cool then it goes back into uh, the drivers and their team. So we've got Carlos Sainz at Ferrari and Charles Leclerc, obviously. Uh, Pierre Gasly at Alfa Tauri with Yuki Tsunoda. And uh, they've both been signed for next year, so they're going to carry on being a, a pair. Kimi Raikkonen, he's retiring at the end of uh, 2021. So this is probably, unless they release a set in December with some more Kimi Raikkonen images, this is probably the last licensed product collectible that they're going to ever release who knows we'll see what happens 
Then we have Antonio Giovinazzi. Then we move on to Mick Schumacher. Now, Mick Schumacher is actually in an F1 team now. He's with Haas. He has a Ferrari contract, so at some point he's going to be called in to obviously drive for Ferrari. So all of these potentially could go up quite a bit if he goes to Ferrari and has a good little run there. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. At the moment, he's at a team where they're sort of back of the grid. But I think that's a good way to you know, build up your confidence, build up your expertise, overtaking uh, corners, weather conditions. I think he's in the right place at the right time of his career. So going into like when he does drive for Ferrari, he would have picked up all that experience and he can utilise that to challenge for a world title if Ferrari are in a position to do that, which usually they are. Uh, obviously, they've had a bit of a slump for the last few years. Nikita Mazepin, really, I think he would have lost his seat this year. But again, I believe his father is buying a majority share of Haas or something along those lines. So he'll probably keep his job, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, then we have um, George Russell. This is a really cool variation shot, actually, from the uh, Chrome and Sapphire sets. And then you've got, obviously, a couple of holographics room. Again, another very popular driver. We've got Nicholas Latifi coming in last, uh, again, with his holographics and uh, a variation image of him sitting on a tyre, same as on Chrome variations and Sapphire. And then we move into the F2 Championship. So this time we've got two drivers for each team. Obviously, uh, the one that's just been signed for Ferrari is Zhao. Uh, first Chinese driver to ever get a Formula 1 drive. And he's on a hollow, actually, which is pretty cool. And then on the last page, we have a last couple of uh, F2 drivers and their teams. And that's it. That is the completed set F1 stickers. What do you guys think? As you can see there, it leaves me with about eight spaces in case they released a special promo card or sticker. They haven't, so I've got eight spare bits in my binder there. Maybe I'll fill it up with some uh, Mick Schumacher's because I think that's going to be the main sticker that's going to hold up well over time. So that's it really from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. That's me. I've now covered the match attacks 2020 the sticker collection 2020 and now the sticker collection 2021 obviously going forward i'm going to be doing a video regarding the completed chrome set which i now have um i'm missing one card from sapphire which is max verstappen number six very frustrating it's the last card i need but there's just so few of them that come up for sale on ebay or facebook and i really struggle i keep commenting all the time who's got max verstappen and people want silly money for him. Um, ideally, I don't want to pay no more than one fifty, two hundred pounds. But there you go. And then that'll be my sapphire set complete as such. So then I can show that to you guys. Um, and I've got a few more F one collections coming my way. Actually, I won't spoil them just yet. But they're they're not the tops related now ones. I've got some older ones coming. Um, and we'll go through them and have a little talk about them then see what you guys think but that's it that's what do you guys think of the 2021 sticker collection do you like them do you not like them obviously i've got to put my limited editions in here actually thinking about it and they take up five or six spaces so actually i've only got two spaces left so that's worked out really well for me um but yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts what you think of these will you carry on collecting stickers going forward is that your sort of thing uh or are you just gonna completely dismiss the stickers and just go for the card collections i'd love to hear your thoughts there's no right or wrong answer it's just your opinion uh, but that's it from me guys i'll see you on the next video from myself bye